Lesson number 38, Surat Al-Baqarah, Ayah number 282-283. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihil kareem amma ba'd. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه خولي رب زدني علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا البات والباطل ورزقنا اجتنابه اللهم لك الحمد كما هديتنا للإسلام وعلمتنا الحكمة والقرآن وسلوات الله وسلامه على خاتم النبيين وإمام المرسلين وعلى آله الطيبين اللهم اجعلنا ممن اتبع القرآن فساقه وقاده إلى الجنة ولا تجعلنا ممن اتبع القرآن فزق في خفاه إلى النار برحمتك يا عزيز يا غفار How are you all? I hope you are doing well. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps you all in his protection. Today's lesson, our lesson number 38 today is from verse 282 to 283. We will start with word to word translation and after that the words will be explained according to the grammar and then inshallah there will be tafsir. Let's listen to the word to word translation of ayah number 282 to 283. Ya ayyuha. O you, Alladina, those who Amanu, they believed Ida, when Tadayantum, you all contracted A debt from one another Bidainin, with a debt Ila, to Ajalin, a term, period Musamman, one fixed Appointed, determined Faktubu, then you all write It down Walyaktub And he should write Bainakum between you all Katibun a scribe One who writes Bil Adl with the equitable justice Wa and La should not Yaba he refuse Katibun a scribe One who writes And that Yaktuba he writes Kama just as Allamahu he taught him Allahu Allah Fal Yaktub so he should write Wa and Waliyam Lul Wal yum lil and he should dictate Alladhi who alayhi is upon him Al haqqu the haqq right Wa and wal yattaqi and he should fear Allah Allah Rabbahu his Rabb sustainer Wa and la should not yabkhas he decrees diminish or curtail Minhu from it shay'a anything Fa in so if Kana he was alladhi who alayhi is upon him alhaqu the haq right safihan one foolish aw or daifan one weak aw or la not yastati'u he is able to or capable and that yumilla he dictates huwa he himself fal yumlil so he should dictate Waliyuhu, his guardian, bil adl, in or with the equitable justice. Was tashhidu, and you all seek or call to witness, shahidaini, two witnesses, men from or of, rijalikum, your men. Fa in, so if, lam, did not, yakuna, they two be or are, rajulaini, two men, farajulun, then a man, wamraatani, and two women. Mimman, from whom tardawna, you all approve or agree upon. Min, from ashuhadai, the witnesses. And, lest that or not, tadilla, she makes error, strays, forgets, ihdahuma, one of them, too. Fatu dhakir, so she reminds, ihdahuma, one of them, too. Al-ukhra, the other. Wa, and, la, should not, yaba, he refused, ashuhadau, the witnesses, Ida when, Ida ma whenever, Do'u they were called, Wa and La do not, Thus amu you all feel burdened, Be averse, offended, And that, Taktubuhu you all write it, Sagiran as small, Aw or Kabiran as big, Ila to till, Ajalihi time period, It's time period, Thalikum, that of you, O oh you all, Aqsatu is most just fair, Inda near with Allahi of Allah. 
و اینڈ اقوام موسٹ فرم اسٹیبلشڈ لشہادتی فور دا ایویڈنس ٹیسٹیمنی و اینڈ ادنا نیئرسٹ اللہ دٹ ناٹ ترتابو یو آل ڈاؤٹ اللہ ایکسپٹ ان دیٹ تکونا اٹ او شی از بی تجارتن ٹریڈ بائنگ اینڈ سیلنگ ہادرتن ون پریزنٹ آن دا اسپاٹ تو دی رونا یو آل سرکولیٹ اٹ بینکم بٹوین یو آل فلیس سو اٹ از ناٹ الیکم اپون یو آل جنا ہن اسن اللہ دیٹ ناٹ تختبو ہا یو آل رائٹ اٹ و اینڈ اشہدو یو آل ٹیک وٹنس ادا وین تبا یا تم یو آل ٹریڈیڈ ود ایچ ادر ولا اینڈ شوڈ ناٹ یو دور ہی بی ہامڈ کاتب ان اسکرائب ون ہو رائٹس و اینڈ لا نور شہید اے وٹنس ون ہو وٹنسز و اینڈ ان ایف تف آلو یو آل ڈو ف ان نہ ہو دین ان ڈیڈ اٹ فسوق ان از اے سن بیکم with you all wa an ittaqu you all safeguard adopt taqwa be conscious of allah allah wa an yu'allimukum he teaches you all allahu allah wa an allahu allah bi kulli is with all every shay'in of things alimun one always all knower wa an in if کنتم یو آل ویر اور آر الا اپون سفر ان اے جرنی و اینڈ لم ڈڈ ناٹ تجدو یو آل فائن کاتبن اسکرائب رائٹر فریحان دین پلیجز ماٹ گیج سیکیورٹیز مقبود ون ٹیکن ان پوزیشن ف ان سو ایف امینا ہی ٹرسٹیڈ بادکم سم آف یو آل بادن سم آف ادرس فل یو ادی دین ہی شوڈ ریسٹور ڈیلیور پے الدی ہو تمنا ہی واز ٹرسٹڈ امانت ہو ہز ٹرسٹ و اینڈ ولیت تقی اینڈ ہی شوڈ اڈاپٹ تقوا سیف گارڈ بی کانشیس آف اللہ اللہ رب ہو ہز رب سسٹینر و اینڈ لا ڈو ناٹ تکتمو یو آل کنسیل اور ہائڈ اشہادا دا ایویڈنس ومن اینڈ ہو ایور یکتم ہا ہی ہائڈس کنسیلس اٹ ہر ف ان نہ ہو سو انڈیڈ ہی آ تمن از ون ہو سنس قلب ہز ہارٹ و اینڈ اللہ اللہ بما وتھ واٹ ایور تا ملونا یو آل ڈو علیم از ون آلویز آل نور گرامیٹیکل انالیسس ناؤ لیٹس انڈرسٹینڈ دیز ورڈس اکارڈنگ ٹو گرامر یا او یو دوز ہو یا از ہر فنیدا کالنگ پارٹیکل ایوہا کمس وت یا وین منادا وٹ از کالڈ اسٹارٹس وت ال این از مذکر ماسکولین الدینہ این آمنو ار بوت منادا الزینہ از اس میں موصول جمع مذکر ماسکولین پلورل ریلیٹو پروناؤن آ منو دے بلیوڈ روٹ ورڈ حمزہ میم میم نون اٹ از فیل مادی جمع مذکر غائب تھرڈ پرسن ماسکلین پلورل پاس ٹینس فرام آمنا یو مینو دا ورل ناؤن مزدر از ای مانم دیٹ از ٹو بلیو ادا تدا یون تم وین یو آل کنٹریکٹڈ اے ڈیٹ فرام ون این ادر ازا از ظرف زمان مستقبل فیوچر ٹائم ایٹ ورب روٹ ورڈ فار تدا یون تم از دال یا نون اٹ از فیل مادی جمع مذکر حادر سیکنڈ پرسن ماسکلین پلورل پاس ٹینس فرام تدا تدا ینا تدا ینو دا ورل ناؤن مزدر از تدا یون دیٹ از ٹو کانٹریکٹ اے ڈیٹ فرام ون این ادر بیکاز اٹ مینس یو آل کانٹریکٹ اے ڈیٹ بی دا ان ان وتھ اے ڈیٹ A debt which is written down is known as then. Root words is dal ya noon. Be in the beginning is harfajar preposition. Daini is majroor genitive noun. Ila to it is harfajar preposition. Ajalin a time period. It is majroor genitive noun. Root word is hamza, jeem, lam and it is mausuf described noun. It means term or period. Musamman one fixed appointed determined. Root word is seen, meme, wow. It is sifth adjective which describes a noun from verbal noun tasmiyatun. It is ismam afaul wahid mudakkar muqarrara. 
that is fixed masculine singular passive particle faktubu then you all write down it root word is kaf ta ba fa in the beginning is harf at conjunction uktubu is fa'il amr jama muzakkar hadir second person masculine plural imperative verb from kataba yaktubu the verbal noun masdar is kitabatun that is to write down who in the end is dhamir of wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular pronoun well yaktub and he should write here waw is harf atf conjunction lam is lam e amr imperative particle lam its meaning is a command and it makes the last letter in the word sakin such as yaktub with a ba sakin it is fe'l mudhari wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular present tense bainakum between you all baina is mudaf what is possessed kum is mudaf ilai possessor and dhameer of jama muzakkar hadir second person masculine plural pronoun katibun ascribe one who writes root word is kaf ta ba it is isma fa'il active participle from verbal noun kitabatun bil adl with the equitable justice root word is ain dal lam b is harf e jar preposition al adli is majroor genitive noun it is isme ma'rifa proper noun since it starting with al wala ya aba and should not he refuse root word is hamza ba ya wa is harf e atf conjunction it is fa'il nahi wa is muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular prohibitive verb ya aba was actually ya ba ya bai that is it was ending at a ya because of the negative particle la the ya in the end was dropped and it became ya ba its fe'l madhi past tense is a ba and mudhari is ya ba and uh, masdar verbal noun is a ba un that is to refuse katibun ascribe one who writes ain yaktuba that he writes an is masdariya subordinating conjunction yaktub is fe'l mudhari wahid mudhakkar ghaib third person masculine singular present tense kama just as ka is harf e tasbi particle of similitude meaning is uh, uh, meaning is as ma is masdariya subordinating conjunction meaning is that allamahu allah he taught him allah allama is فعل ماضي واحد مذكر غائب ثرد پرسن ماسکلن سنگلا پاسٹنس فرم علم یعلم دا ورابل ناؤن مزدر اس تعلیم دات اس تو تیچ ہو ان دا اینڈ دا میر او واحد مذکر غائب ثرد پرسن ماسکلن سنگلا پروناؤن فل یکتب سو ہی شوڈ رائٹ ایکسپلین پریویسلی ول یوم لیلی این ہی شوڈ ڈکٹیٹ روٹ ورڈ از میم لام لام و ان دا بگننگ از حرف عطف کنجنکشن لام از لام امر امپریٹیف پارٹیکل لام یوم لیل از فیل مدار واحد مذکر غائب ثرد پرسن ماسکلن سنگلر پریزن ٹینس فرم اما فرم امالا یوم لیلو دا فرم from amal uh, am am amal la yumillu the verbal noun masdar is imlal that is to dictate alladhi who it is isma mausul wahid muzakkar masculine singular relative pronoun alayhi is upon him ala is harf jar preposition he is dhameer pronoun al haqu the haq right root word is ha qaf qaf used for the indebted وَلْيَتَّقِ اللَّهِ and he should fear Allah. Root word is wow, قَافْ يَا wow is حرف عطف conjunction. لام is لام امر imperative particle. لام يَتَّقِ was actually يَتَّقِ it ended at a يَا سَاكِنَ but because of imperative لام it was dropped. It is فَلَ مُدَارِ وَاحِدْ مُذَكَّرْ غَائِبْ third person masculine singular present tense. From اِتَّقَى يَتَّقِ the verbal noun مَزْدَرِ is اِتَّقَاؤُن to fear. ربه his rub sustainer ولا and should not يبخس he decrease diminish curtail root word is با خاصين it is فعل مضارع واحد مذكر غائب third person masculine singular present tense from بخس يبخس the verbal noun مصدر is بخسن that is to reduce or diminish من who from it من is حرف جر preposition who is the mere pronoun شيئا anything for in so if for is harf e atf conjunction in is shartiya conditional particle kan alladhi he was who kana is fe'l madhi wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular past tense alayhi upon him al haq the haq right safihan one foolish root word is seen uh, fa ha aw da'ifan or one weak 
او از حرف عطف کنجنکشن روٹ ورڈ فو دعیفن اداد عین فا او لا یستطیعو اور نات ہی از ایبل ٹو کیپبل روٹ ورڈ از تا واو عین It is فیل مدار منفی واحد مذکر غائب تھرڈ پرسن ماسکلن سنگلر نگیٹو پریزنٹ ٹینس فرام استطاع استطیع دا وربل ناؤن مزدر از استطاعتن دیٹ از ٹو ہیو دا ایبلٹی اور بی کیپبل این یو ملا دیٹ ہی ڈکٹیٹس روٹ ورڈ از میم لام لام اٹ از فیل مدار منصوب واحد مذکر غائب تھرڈ پرسن ماسکلن سنگلر پریزنٹ ٹینس ان سبجنکٹیو کیس فرام امل یو ملو دا وربل ناؤن مزدر از ام لالن اور ام لال دیٹ از ٹو ڈکٹیٹ ہوا ہی ہم سیلف اٹ از دمیر منفصلا ڈیٹیچ پروناؤن اٹ از پروناؤن دیٹ کمز سپریٹلی اٹ از واحد مذکر غائب تھرڈ پرسن ماسکلن سنگلر فل یو ملل سو ہی شوڈ ڈکٹیٹ ولی یو ہو ہز گارڈین واو لام یا از دا روٹ ورڈ ولی یو از مداف وٹ از پوزسٹ ہو از دمیر پروناؤن بل عدلی ان او وت ایکوٹیبل جسٹس وس تشہدو ان یو آل سیک اور کال ٹو وٹنس و از حرف عطف کنجنکشن اس تشہدو روٹ ورڈ از شین ہا دال اٹ از فعل امر جمع مذکر حاضر سیکنڈ پرسن ماسکلن پلورل امپریٹو ورب فرام اس تشہد اس تشہدو دا وربل ناؤن مزدر از اس اس تشہاد That is to make a witness or call for evidence. Istishhad is from Babe Istifal. Shahidaini, two witnesses. It's a tasniya, dual. It's singular is shahidun. Mir rijalikum, from of your men. Root word is ra, jim, lam. Rijal, rijali is majroor and mudaf. Genitive noun, what is possessed? It's a singular is rijlun. کم اٹ سنگلر از رجلن کم از مداف الی پوزیسر اینڈ دمیر آف جمع مذکر حاضر سیکنڈ پرسن ماسکلن پلورل پروناؤن ف علم سو اف ڈڈ ناٹ یکونن یکونا دے ٹو بی اور آر روٹ ورڈ از کاف واو نون اٹ از فیل ناقص مدار ڈیفیشنٹ پریزنٹ ٹینس اٹس سیغا آف تثنیا مذکر غائب تھرڈ پرسن ماسکلن ڈول فرام کانا یکونو دا وربل نان مزدر از کاؤنن Rajulaini, two men. It's a tasniya of Rajulun. Rajulaini, two men. It is a tasniya of Rajulun, dual for Rajulun. For Rajulun, then a man. For is harfi'atf, a conjunction. Vamra'atani and two women. Root word is meem, ra, hamza. Wa in the beginning is harfi'atf, conjunction. Imra'atani is tasniya, dual, and its singular is imra'atun. Mim man from home, made up of min and man. Min is her fajar preposition. Man is majroor genitive noun and isma mausool relative pronoun. Tar dauna, you all approve, agree upon. Root word is ra, dad, dad, dod, wow. Ra, dod, wow. It is fail mudare, jama muzakkar hadar, second person masculine, plural present tense. From radia, from radia. رضی یا رضاو دا مزدر او وربل نون از ریدن دیٹ از ٹو پلیز اور ٹو لائک اور ٹو بی پلیزڈ من الشہداء فرام دا وٹنسز ان تدل لیس دیٹ ناٹ شی میکس ایرر سٹریس فرگیٹس روٹ ورڈ از دود لام لام اٹ از فیل مدار منصوب این واحد مؤنس غائب تھرڈ پرسن فیمنین سنگلر پریزنٹ ٹینس ان سبجیکٹیف کیس From dalla ya dalla ya dillu, the verbal noun masdar is dalalan. Ihtahuma, one of them or two. One of them, two. And the root word is hamza, ha, dal. Ihda is mudaf, what is possessed, and it means one woman. Huma is mudaf ilay, possessor, and the mere of the sneem on this ghaib. Third person feminine dual pronoun. فَتُو ذَكِّرَ So she reminds root word is ذَال كَافْ رَا فَا in the beginning is حرف عطف conjunction تُو ذَكِّرَ is فَيْلِ مُدَارِ وَاحِدْ مُعَنِّسْ غَائِبْ third person feminine singular present tense from ذَكَّرَ يُذَكِّرُ the verbal noun must there is تَذْكِير or تَذْكِيرٌ to remind 
إحداهما one of them to الأخرى the other ولا يأبى and should not he refuse الشهداء the witnesses إذا ما whenever it is اسم ظرف مستقبل future time adverb here it is in the meaning of شرط condition me is زائدة excessive for emphasis دعو they were called root word is دال عين و it is فعل ماضي مجهول جمع مذكر غائب third person masculine plural passive past tense from دعا يدعو the verbal noun مصدر is دعوة or دعوة that is to call because of إذا the meaning is they are called ولا تسأمو and do not you all feel burdened be ever offended root word is seen Hamza meme it is فعل مضارع جمع مذكر حاضر second person masculine plural present tense from from سأمو yes أمو the verbal noun مصدر is سأمتون that is to be slow to delay be weary أن تكتبوه that you all write it تكتبو is فعل مضارع جمع مذكر حاضر second person masculine plural present tense who is the mere pronoun صغيرا a small root word is صاد غين را أو كبيرا or as big because of the تنوين on را both صغيرا and كبيرا are اسمنا كرا common noun root word is كاف با را both words are in the pattern of فعيلا إلى أجلي to or till its time period إلى is حرف جر preposition أجلي is مجرور genitive noun he is the mere pronoun ذالكم that of O U all. It is Isma Shara demonstrative noun. It's made of Dalika and Kum. Kum is the mere of Jama Mazakar Hadar, second person masculine plural pronoun. Akasatu is most just fair. Root word is Qaf, seen, ta. From verbal noun, Mazdar Iqasatun. Iqasatun. It is Sego of Isma Tafdil, comparative and superlative phrase. That is most just. عند الله near or with of Allah. عند is مضاف. What is possessed and Allah he is مضاف إلي possessor. وأقوى مل الشهادة and most firm established for the evidence testimony. From verbal noun قيام أقوى مو إسقاء of اسم تفضيل comparative and superlative noun. وأدنى and nearest root word is دال نون واو. أدنى is اسم تفضيل comparative and superlative noun. That is nearest. It's derived from verbal noun masdar. Uh, verbal noun masdar. Dun uh, one. Allah tertabu that not you all doubt. Allah and um, uh, is made up of an and la. Uh, un means that and it's masdariya subordinating conjunction and la is nafia negative particle. Tartabu root word is ra ya ba. It was actually tartabu. It was actually tartabuna but because of an the noon arabi was dropped. It is fele mudare jama muzakar hadar second person masculine plural present tense. From irtaba yartabu the verbal noun masdar is irtiyab that is to have doubt. Illa antakuna except that it or she is be. Tijaratan a trade buying and selling. Root word is ta jim ra it is a mausuf which is described. Hadiratan, one present on the spot. Root word is ha, dod, ra. It is a sifth adjective. From verbal noun masdar, huduran. It is isme fail, wahid, muannas, feminine, singular, active particle. Tudi runaha, you all circulate it or her. The root word is dal, wow, ra. Tudi runa. Tudi runa is fail mudare jama muzakkar hadar second person masculine plural present tense. From adara yudiru the verbal noun masdar is idaratun that is to carry out to circulate. Ha in then is the mir of wahid muannas ghaib third person feminine singular pronoun. Bainakum between you all. Falaysa so it is not. Fa is harfi atf conjunction. ليسا is فعل ناقص ماضي واحد مذكر غائب third person masculine singular deficient past tense عليكم upon you all جناح اسن root word is جيم نون ها اللا تكتبوها that not you all write it her وأشهدو and you all take witness it is فعل عمر جمع مذكر حاضر second person masculine plural imperative verb from أشهد يشهدو the verbal noun مذكر is إشهاد or إشهاد that is to take witness 
Ida tabayatum, when you all trade it with each other, root word is ba, ya, ayn. It is felamadi, jama muzakkar hadar, second person masculine plural, past tense. From tabaya, 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 the uh, verbal noun masdar is tabayun. Wala yudor, and should not he be harmed. Root word dod, ra, ra. It is fela mudare, majhul, wahid, muzakar ghaib, third person masculine singular, passive present tense. From, from dor, yadorru, the verbal noun masdar is diraran, that is to harm. Katibun, a scribe, one who writes. Wala shahidun, and nor a witness, one who witnesses. Wa in and if taf'alu you all do. It was actually taf'aluna but due to in the noon Arabi was dropped. It is fela mudare jama muzakkar hadar second person masculine plural present tense. From fa'ala yaf'alu the masdar verbal noun is fa'alun or, fa or fa'al that is to do. Fa innahu then indeed it fa is harf atf conjunction inna is harf mushabba bil fa'al particle resembling verb and who is the mere pronoun. Fusukum bikum is a sin with you all. Root word is fa, seen, khaf. It is masdar verbal noun for fasaqa. Uh, for fasaqa yafsukhu. In bikum, bi is harfajar preposition and kum is the pronoun. Wattakullah, you all safeguard, adopt taqwa, be conscious of Allah. Ittaqu is fila amr, jama muzakar hadar, second person masculine plural imperative verb. From ittaqa, yattaqi, the verbal noun masdar is ittaqaun, that is to fear. Wa yuallimukum Allah and he teaches you all Allah. Yuallimu is fila mudare, wahid muzakar ghaib, third person masculine singular present tense. From allama yuallimu, the verbal noun masdar is ta'aliman, ta'aliman, that is to teach. Kum in the end is the mere pronoun. Wallahu and Allah. Bikulli is with all every. Bi is harfijar preposition. Kulli is majroor genitive noun. Because if harfijar preposition, the last letter of majroor genitive noun ends at a kasra. Shayin of things. It is mudaf ilay possessor and majroor genitive noun. Ali mun one always all knower. It is an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from ilmun masdar verbal noun. It is the sirah of mubalagha phrase of magnificence. Ayah number 283. Wa in kuntum and if you all were or are ala upon safar in a journey. Root word is seen fa ra. Ala is her feature preposition. Safar in is majroor genitive noun. Walam and did not. Tajidu you all find. The root word is waw jeem dal. It is fela mudare jama muzakkar hadar. Second person masculine plural present tense. From wajada yajidu the verbal noun masdar is vijdanun that is to find. Katiban a scribe or writer. It is isma file active particle. Farihanun then pledges, mortgages, securities. Root word is ra, ha, noon. Fa is harfayat conjunction. Rihanun singular is rehna. Maqbooda one taken in position. Root word is qa, ba, da, dod. From masdar verbal noun qabdan it is isma maf'ul wahid mu'annas feminine singular passive particle. That is the position of the thing kept as a pledge is given to the lender. For in, so if, Amina, he trusted. It is fela madi wahid muzakkar ghaib, third person masculine singular, past tense. Amina ya, uh, uh, amina ya amanu are from the masdar verbal noun amnun, that is to trust. Because of in, the meaning would be end trust. Ba'adu kum, some of you all. Ba'adu is mudaf, what is possessed. And kum is mudaf ilai, possessor and damir, pronoun. Ba'adan, some of others. Fal yu addilladhi, then he should restore, deliver, pay, who? Root word is hamza, dal, ya. It was actually fal yu addi with ya sakin at the end. Because of lam amr, imperative lam, the ya sakin which is a harf illat, sick letter was dropped. Fa is harf atf conjunction. Lam is lam amr, imperative particle, lam. And you addi is fela mudare, wahid muzakkar ghaib, third person masculine singular present tense. From adda you addi, the verbal noun masdar is ta di atun, that is to pay. U tumina, he was trusted. Root word is hamza, meem, noon. It is fela madi, majhul, wahid muzakkar ghaib, third person masculine singular passive past tense. From i'tamana i'taminu, the verbal noun masdar is i'timanun or i'timan. I'timanun is in the pattern of babe ifti'alun, 
similarly itmana itmana is in the pattern of fi'l madhi past tense of bab ifti'alun that is in the pattern of ifti'ala similarly ya'taminu is in the pattern of fi'l mudhari present tense of bab ifti'alun that is yaftailu a grammar lesson this time is about bab ifti'al lesson number 39 link will be given in the description box amanatuhu his trust amanata is mudaf what is possessed and it means trust who is mudaf ilay possessor and dhamir uh, pronoun who is dhamir pronoun wal yattaqillah and he should adopt taqwa safeguard be conscious of allah wa is harfi atf conjunction lam is lam amr imperative particle lam yattaqi was actually yattaqi ending at ya sakin because of lam amr the ya sakin was dropped it is fi'l mudhari wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular present tense from ittaqa yattaqi the verbal noun masdar is ittaqun that is to fear rabbahu his rabb sustainer rabba is mudaf what is possessed who is mudaf ilay possessor wala and do not taktumu you all conceal or hide root word is kaf ta mim it is fa'il ma fa'il nahi jama muzakkar hadir second person masculine plural prohibitive verb from katama yaktumu the verbal noun masdar is kitmanun or kitman that is to hide as shahada the evidence woman and whoever man is shartiya and isma mausul conditional relative pronoun yaktum ha he hides conceals it or her yaktum is fa'il mudhari majzum wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular jassif present tense he ha is dhamir of wahid muannas ghaib third person feminine singular pronoun fa innahu so indeed he athimun is one who sins root word is hamza sa mim it is isma fa'il wahid muzakkar masculine singular active particle from masdar verbal noun ismun qalbuhu his heart qalbu is mudaf possessor who is dhamir of mudaf ilay pronoun of possessor and its wahid muzakkar ghaib third person masculine singular wallahu and allah bi ma with whatever bi is harf jar preposition ma is uh, mausul and majrur genitive noun and relative pronoun ta'malun you all do it is fa'il mudhari jama muzakkar hadir second person masculine plural present tense from amila ya'malu the verbal noun masdar is amalan that is to do alim one always all knower it is an attribute of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from verbal noun ilmun it is a sigha of mubalagha a phrase of magnificence let's listen to the recitation of today's verses a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها الذين امنوا اذا تداينتم بدين الى اجل مسمى الى اجل مسمى فاكتبوا وَلْيَكْتُبْ بَيْنَكُمْ كَاتِبٌ بِالْعَدْلِ وَلَا يَأْبَ كَاتِبٌ أَن يَكْتُبَ كَمَا عَلَّمَهُ اللَّهُ فَلْيَكْتُبْ وَلْيُمْلِلِ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ الْحَقُّ وَلْيَتَّقِ اللَّهَ رَبَّهُ وَلَا يَبْخَسْ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا فَإِن كَانَ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ الْحَقُّ سَفِيهًا أَوْ ضَعِيفًا أَوْ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُ أَن يُمِلَّ هُوَ فَلْيُمْلِلْ وَلِيُّهُ بِالْعَدْلِ وَاسْتَشْهِدُوا شَهِيدَيْنِ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ فَإِن لَّمْ يَكُونَا رَجُلَيْنِ فَرَجُلٌ وَامْرَأَتَانِ فرجل وامرأتان ممن ترضون من الشهداء ترضون من الشهداء ان تضل احداهما فتذكر احداهما الاخرى ولا يأب الشهداء اذا ما دعوا وَلَا تَسْأَمُوا 
تكتبوه صغيرا أو كبيرا إلى أجله ذلكم أقسط عند الله وأقوم للشهادة وأدنى ألا ترتابوا إلا أن تكون تجارة حاضرة تجارة حاضرة تديرونها بينكم فليس عليكم جناح ألا تكتبوها وأشهدوا إذا تبايعتم ولا يضار كاتب ولا شهيد وإن تفعلوا فإنه فسوق بكم واتقوا الله ويعلمكم الله والله بكل شيء عليم وإن كنتم على سفر ولم تجدوا كاتبا ولم تجدوا كاتبا فرهان مقبوضة فإن أمن بعضكم بعضا فليؤد الذي اؤتمن أمانته وليتق الله ربه ولا تكتم الشهادة ومن يكتمها فإنه آثم قلبه والله بما تعملون عليم Tafsir. Now let us begin the Tafsir. Review of previous ayahs. In the previous verses, interest was denied. Zakat, charity and emphasized. Lending was encouraged. It was said to be kind to the needy and the reward for respite from the loan was mentioned. In this verse, it is mentioned that some precautions should be followed in the loan transactions so that the matters can be settled amicably so that lenders and borrowers can avoid all kinds of harm and avoid mutual misunderstandings and fights. In this verse of Surah Baqarah, important instructions have been given in relation to loan transactions and loan buying and selling. The goal is to have all matters done neatly. Meaning and Tafsir of Surah Al-Baqarah verses 282-283 to Tafsir of verse number 282 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا تداينتم بدين إلى أجل مسمى فاكتبوه وليكتب بينكم كاتب بالعدل كاتب بالعدل ولا يأبى كاتب أن يكتب كما علمه الله فليكتب وليملل الذي عليه الحق وليتق الله ربه وليتق الله ربه ولا يبخس منه شيئا فإن كان الذي عليه الحق سفيها أو ضعيفا أو لا يستطيع أن يمله فليملل وليه بالعدل واستشهدوا شهيدين من رجالكم فإن لم يكونا رجلين فرجل وامرأتان ممن ترضون من الشهداء ممن ترضون من الشهداء أن تضل إحداهما فتذكر إحداهما الأخرى ولا يأب الشهداء إذا ما دعوا ولا تسأموا أن تكتبوه صغيرا أو كبيرا إلى أجله ذلكم أقسط عند الله ذلكم أقسط عند الله وأقوم للشهادة وأدنى ألا ترتابوا إلا أن تكون تجارة حاضرة تديرونها بينكم 
تُدِيرُونَهَا بَيْنَكُمْ فَلَيْسَ عَلَيْكُمْ جُنَاحٌ أَلَّا تَكْتُبُوهَا وَاشْهِدُوا إِذَا تَبَايَعْتُمْ وَلَا يُضَارَّ كَاتِبٌ وَلَا شَهِيدٌ وَإِن تَفْعَلُوا فَإِنَّهُ فُسُوقٌ بِكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ Translation O believers, when you deal with each other in lending for a fixed period of time, put it in writing. Let a scribe write it down with justice between the parties. The scribe who is given the gift of literacy by Allah should not refuse to write. He is under obligation to write. Let him who incurs the liability debtor dictate fearing Allah his Rabb and not diminishing anything from the settlement. If the borrower is mentally unsound or weak or is unable to dictate himself, let the guardian of his interests dictate for him with justice. Let two witnesses from among you bear witness to all such documents. If two men cannot be found, then one man and two women of your choice should bear witness so that if one of the women forgets anything, the other may remind her. The witnesses must not refuse when they are called upon to do so. You must not be averse to writing your contract for a future period, whether it is a small matter or big. This action is more just for you in the sight of Allah because it facilitates the establishment of evidence and is the best way to remove all doubts. But if it is a common commercial transaction concluded on the spot among yourselves, there is no blame on you if you do not put it in writing. You should have witnesses when you make commercial transactions. Let no harm be done to the scribe or witnesses. And if you do so, you shall be guilty of transgression. Fear Allah. It is Allah who teaches you and Allah has knowledge of everything. Tafsir. This is the extensive verse of Holy Quran and is named ayat Then, It contains instructions on matters relating to lending. Our religion is a complete code of life. Our religion not only commands us to perform duties and follow orders, but teaches us, to, uh, teaches us how to perform various matters with wisdom. In this ayah, first it is said, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu idha tadayantum bidaynin ila ajalim musamma faktubuh. O believers, when you contract a loan for a fixed period, commit it to writing. O you who believe, when you transact a loan for a certain length of time, write it down. Then is a loan in which repayment time is fixed. It is being told here what instructions Muslims should take into account when dealing with the loan so that a person does not suffer from any difficulty and does not face any hardship. Therefore, it is being said, O Muslims, when you transact a loan individually or collectively, write it down. That is, when you deal with a loan for a specific period, write it down. In today's era, all business is written because this is the era of writing. But 1400 years ago, all kinds of transactions were only verbal. In this era, the revelation of such verses testifies to the validity of the Quran. First of all, the Quran drew attention to this and said that when you deal with a loan, write it down. How much is the amount and for what duration the writing is useful in the case of omission or refusal? Here it is also clarified that when you make a loan transaction, you must set the period for it. Scholars say that the month and date should be clear in writing so that there is no ambiguity or doubt in it. And that is, it cannot be written that the money will be written at the time of harvest. Then it is being said, Let the scribe maintain justice between the parties. That is, whatever matters the borrower and the lender decide how much the amount will be on what amount and date, uh, on what month and date it will be written. All this should be written by a third person with justice. Nowadays, these things are also done with the help of a lawyer. The person should write all the calculations with justice and fairness. Do not increase or decrease anything. There should be a writing that makes a clear the nature of the matter. The writer should not be a particular person of any party. He should be neutral. He should not harm his hereafter for the ignoble benefit of this world. وَلَا يَأْبَى كَاتِبٌ أَنْ يَكْتُبَ كَمَا عَلَّمَهُ 
the scriber should not refuse to write as Allah has instructed them to write. That is, when he is asked to write, he should write. Because it is a favor of Allah that he taught him to write. Now he should not refuse to write and also treat those who do not know how to write with his kindness. It is also mentioned in Bukhari that it is a charity to give the hand of someone who is working to help someone who has fallen. It is in Abu Dawud that whoever knows the knowledge and then hides it on the day of resurrection, he will be clothed with a bridle of fire. Scholars say that it is obligatory to write on the scribe. وَلْيُمْلِ لِلَّذِي عَلَيْهِ الْحَقُّ وَلْيَتَّقِ اللَّهَ رَبَّهُ وَلَا يَبْخَسْ مِنْهُ شَيْئًا They will write what the debtor dictates, bearing Allah in mind and not defrauding the debt. Here it is being said that the person who has taken the loan should dictate the details of the matter. He should deal with the matter with fear of Allah, should not compromise the terms of the agreement in any way and should not betray. فَإِنْ كَانَ الَّذِي عَلَيْهِ الْحَقُّ سَفِيهًا أَوْ ضَعِيفًا أَوْ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُ if the debtor is incompetent, weak or unable to dictate, let their guardian dictate for them with justice. It is being said here that if the borrower is weak or has a low IQ and does not have the understanding to dictate the terms of the contract, then his wali, that is his guardian, should act as his lawyer and uh, lawyer with justice and fairness. This wali can be a relative of the borrower or not. He should be wise and be a well-wisher to the debtor. A lawyer can also be appointed as a guardian, but the matter should be done by justice. Call upon two of your men to witness. Then make two of your men witnesses to it. After writing down the terms of the matter, this writing should be witnessed by two adult Muslim men who are considered trustworthy in the society. And if the matter is between two non-Muslims, witnesses can also be non-Muslims. If two men cannot be found, then one man and two women of your choice will witness. So if one of the women forgets, the other may remind her. It is now said, if two reliable Muslim witnesses are not found at the time of writing, then one man and two women can be witnesses. And if no man is available, four women cannot be witnesses. This testimony of one man and two women is only for financial matters. For example, the testimony of four men is necessary for adultery and ejaculation. Similarly, the testimony of two men is required for theft, marriage and divorce and the testimony of three men of his tribe is also required for bankruptcy. The testimony of only one Muslim is sufficient for the Ruwati Halal. Hilal, Ruwati Hilal and the testimony of only one midwife is sufficient for the proof of adoption. A question is often asked why a woman's testimony is half. Here it is important to understand the need for testimony arises only when the matter goes to court. One of the reasons for going to court is that the terms of the contract are not written down at the time of the loan transaction or the terms of the contract are not written down or there is an increase or decrease in the writing or any changes are made later. Allah has blessed women with this convenience so that they can fulfill the responsibilities of the house happily and be safe from quarrels and legal proceedings outside the house. It is the beauty of Islam that women have been free from responsibilities outside the home. Women do not have much business knowledge and during menstruation, pregnancy and lactation, women are oblivious due to hormone, hormonal changes. Thus, make big decisions alone and are not able to go to court. Because of the veil, a woman does not like to testify alone with a non-mahram and does not like to go out of the house and go around the court. That's the reason why it is being said in the verse that if two male witnesses are not available, in that case two women should be witness with one male so that if one woman forgets, the other will remind her. We should remember that this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order. Allah is the creator of human beings. So he subhanahu wa ta'ala is well aware of his creations, goodness and errors. Allah has made man stronger than woman in terms of physical structure and strength. That is the reason why he has assigned all the hard work to men that they should earn and solve external problems and bear witness. 
the meaning is to make witnesses whom you like that is whom you consider trustworthy and reliable as witnesses islamic has not islam has not allowed everyone to bear witness if someone tells lies betrays or breaks promises then according to sahih bukhari these are all the characteristics of a hypocrite therefore such a person cannot be made a witness wala ya bashuhada idha ma du'u the witnesses must accept when they are summoned witnessing is obligatory and cannot be denied because denying it amounts to hidden martyrdom and it is a major sin in sahih muslim it says good witnesses are those who testify without being asked wala tas'amu an taktubu saghiran aw kabiran ila ajali you must not be against writing contracts for a fixed period whether the sum is small or big whether it is a small or a large loan with a fixed term do not hesitate to write it it is being said here that both the borrower and the lender even if they trust each other a lot have no fear of any kind of omission or dispute but they must write it down ذَلِكُمْ أَقْسَطُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَأَقْوَمُ لِلشَّهَادَةِ وَأَذْنَا أَلَّا تَرْتَابُوا إِلَّا أَنْ تَكُونَ تِجَارَةً حَادِرَةً تُدِيرُونَهَا بَيْنَكُمْ فَلَيْسَ عَلَيْكُمْ جُنَاحٌ أَلَّا تَكْتُبُوهَا This is more just for you in the sight of Allah and more convenient to establish evidence and remove doubts. However, if you conduct an immediate transaction among yourselves, you do not need to record it. It is being said, it is more just in the sight of Allah and more correct and stronger for witnessing and surely this is the solution to avoid doubts and uh, doubts and this is also the solution to avoid later disputes. It is a way to write down the transaction matters. It fulfills the requirements of justice yes it is another matter that the deal is done hand to hand that is the point of trade is to take the thing and receive the money at the same time so there is no problem if it is not written but if it is a cash transaction on a large scale if something big is being bought and sold then it must be written down so that if there is any defect or deficiency in the thing you can talk and show evidence and deficiency for example if you have bought a lot of clothes then you should take the receipt and also say that if there is any defect we will change it and after arriving home you discover that there is a hole now you can change it by showing the receipt yes if the return was not discussed when you bought the item then according to the hadith you cannot return the item falaysa alaykum junahun alla taktubuha It also means that if the parties involved in mutual transactions have a lot of trust in each other, have had experience before and there is no possibility of bad faith, then there is no problem even if the matter is not written. وَأَشْهِدُوا إِذَا تَبَايَعَتُمْ وَلَا يُضَارَّ كَاتِبٌ وَلَا شَهِيدٌ وَإِن تَفْعَلُوا فَإِنَّهُ فُسُوقٌ بِكُمْ وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ call upon witnesses when a deal is finalized let no harm come to the scribe or witnesses if you do then you have gravely exceeded your limits be mindful of allah here it is being said that when you make a deal buy and sell with each other make witnesses if the transaction is a loan it should be written in any case a witness should be made and if it is cash then it is better if it is written and a witness is made ولا يضار كاتب ولا شهيد let no harm come to the scribe or witnesses we know how both of them are harmed the scribe that is the writer should be forced to write something wrong if he is not willing to write it then he should not be forced to write something false don't accuse the scribe scribes later by writing wrongly do not force the scribe to write the wrong thing and then do not accuse him of writing something wrong similarly the witness should not be threatened to change the writing the witness should not be persecuted as to why he is giving true testimony against his interest and the witness should not be forced to give false testimony the witness should not be forced repeatedly to give evidence and the witness should not be harmed by not being paid for his or her time and traveling around the court the witness should be paid his travel expenses one of its meanings is that the scribe and the witness should not harm anyone the writer should not favor anyone should not make false statements should not lie and should not refuse to write similarly the witness should not refuse to testify do not favor anyone do not fear anyone do not hide the truth out of fear of anyone and do not give false testimony in favor of someone else by taking money or and not 
conceal the testimony and act on what is emphasized and then it is said Allah and fear Allah if you disobey Allah then it will be a transgression that is disobedience to Allah and sin that is why it is said to fear Allah because the fear of Allah only prevents a person from disobeying Allah fear of Allah protects the hearts from sins the fear of Allah protects from sins the fear of Allah cannot enter the heart until a person gets the knowledge of the Quran and Hadith when the remembrance of Allah the love of Allah comes into the heart the favors of Allah upon us cannot be estimated then the greatness and magnificence of Allah comes into the heart and then man begins to fear the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so man becomes afraid of Allah's displeasure when he realizes after getting knowledge of the Quran and Hadith that these actions will displease Allah when he learns that these actions are disobedient to Allah are acts of disobedience to Allah and are sins and by doing them the world and the hereafter are ruined then a person does not commit a sin whether alone or in the company of people he does every matter knowing that Allah is present and watching he never tells a lie he does not cheat he does not do wrong and he does not give false testimony for Allah is the one who teaches you and Allah has perfect knowledge of all things at the end of this verse it is said that Allah wants what is good for you to protect you from the problems of not writing and witnessing telling you about mutual matters he is also teaching you these matters he knows that if you do not heed these instructions in matters of mutual transaction you are in danger of a loss Allah knows the end and reality of all actions and also knows expedience and foresight of these actions nothing is hidden from Allah Allah's knowledge encompasses the entire universe may Allah bless us the tawfiq to act on these commands in the best of ways Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen Tafsir of verse number 283 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإن كنتم على سفر سفر ولم تجدوا كاتبا فرهان مقبوضة فإن أمن بعضكم بعضا فليؤد الذي اؤتمن أمانته وليتق الله ربه ولا تكتم الشهادة ومن يكتمها فإنه آثم قلبه فَإِنَّهُ آثِمٌ قَلْبُهُ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ عَلِيمٌ Translation If you are on a journey and cannot find a scribe to write down the transaction, then transact your business by taking possession of a pledge. If one of you entrust another with a pledge, let the trustee deliver the pledge to property to its owner and let him fear Allah his Rabb. Do not conceal testimony, and whoever conceals it, his heart is surely sinful. Allah is aware of all your actions. Tafsir In this verse, it is being told that if someone is traveling and is faced with the need to take a loan for any reason, for example, his pocket has been cut or money has been stolen or he has run out of money, how can he take a loan now? While traveling, it is rare to get a loan with ease, so you have to take uh, you have to pledge something in this ayah firstly it is said وَإِن كُنْتُمْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ وَلَمْ تَجِدُوا كَاتِبًا فَرِهَانٌ مَقْبُوضًا you are on a journey and a scribe cannot be found then security can be taken pledge something uh, رَهَن is something that is given in the position of the lender as security and the loan is taken in return on repayment of a loan the thing pledged is withdrawn the borrower is called rahin the lender is called the murtahin and marhun bihi is an item which has been pledged let's find out more about the process of pledging an object as security for taking a loan uh, is only during uh, as security for taking a loan is only during travel no it is not there are four types of pledge demand number one don't find a scribe in the journey number two do not find a scribe in the travel or in the house number three a writer may be found on a journey but the lender may not trust the borrower four a writer may be found on a journey but the borrower may not trust the lender
وَإِن كُنتُم عَلَى سَفَرٍ وَلَمْ تَجِدُوا كَاتِبًا فَرِهَانٌ مَّقْبُوضَةٌ and if you are on a journey and cannot find a scribe then pledge something and take a loan here is a mention of the first advice that if a scribe is not found during the journey then the thing should be taken as a loan فَإِنْ آمِنَ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا فَلْيُؤَدِّ الَّذِي اُتُمِنَ أَمَانَتَهُ وَلْيَتَّقِ اللَّهَ رَبَّهُ Yes, if you put your trust in each other, the one who is trusted should pay his loan properly and fear Allah who is his Lord. If there is trust without writing a loan can be taken without a pledge. Without writing a loan can be taken without a pledge. And the matter of loan can be dealt with here. Amanat means loan. But the debtor should honor this trust by repaying it on time and let them fear Allah their Lord. It is obvious loan is a deposition. It should be paid on a right and agreed time and only a God-fearing person would do this. وَلَا تَكْتُمُ الشَّهَادَةِ وَمَنْ يَكْتُمْهَا فَإِنَّهُ آثِمٌ قَلْبُهُ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ عَلِيمٌ and do not conceal the testimony for whoever conceals it their hearts are indeed sinful and Allah fully knows what you do if he hides the testimony not only his tongue will be sinful but first of all the heart is sin sinful because the intention is done from the heart and then speech or action is done this katman is a function of the heart because the heart is the head of all the organs. In Sahih Bukhari, it is a piece of meat. If it is correct, the whole body remains correct. And if corruption occurs in it, the whole body becomes corrupted. And Allah knows well what is in the heart of men. He also knows the intention of the heart and he also knows what is being hidden and from whom is being feared because the one who fears Allah never hides the truth. Concealing testimony is a great sin. For those who conceal testimony, strict promises have been made in the Quran and Hadith and there are great virtues for those who testify to the truth. In Sahih Muslim, the Prophet wasallam said, He is the best witness who presents himself as a witness before being asked to testify. In another tradition, the worst witness is said to be the one who presents himself as a false witness before being asked to testify. Thus, he commits himself to a major sin by giving false testimony. Recap. Let's recap. Let's go over what we have learned from these verses for our practice. I number 282. Whenever we do a credit transaction, we should appoint a third party to write down the full details of the loan. And whoever knows to write, he should write with justice and should not refuse to write. We should do all matters fearing Allah and with justice. One should also write down the matters of acceptance of the loan and two men who are trustworthy should be made witnesses. If two men are not available, one man and two women should be made witnesses. Whether the loan transaction is small or large, the amount of number of goods and the date of repayment must also be written. There is no problem if the cash transaction is not written. Ayah number 283, if during the journey or at the time of the loan transaction at home, we should pledge something to the borrower, something of the same value as the amount we borrowed should be kept with the lender as security. When the borrower returns the money to the lender, he can take his pledge back from the lender. If the lender has faith in the borrower, then he can lend without taking anything as a pledge. A loan is a trust. He who is God-fearing takes care of it. He who knows the truth should not hide the truth. The heart of one who hides the truth is also a sinner. Homework. Please note down today's homework. Question number one. Write down the translation, root words and singular plural from today's verses. Question number two, write down the past tense, present tense and verbal nouns of the following root words in Bab Ifti'alun. C number one, Seen Ba Qaf. Number two, Jim Ha Dal. Number three, Ha Seen Ba. Number four, Qaf Dal Ba. Number five, Ain Ra Fa. Number six, Hamza Meem Noon. Question number three, which is the greatest ayah in the Quran and which is the longest ayah in the Quran? Please state both ayah with verse number and name of the surah. 
Question number 4. Which things should be taken care of while giving and taking a loan? From verse number 282. Question number 5. Why is the witness of two women equal to one man? From verse number 282. Question number 6. What is the process called when something is given in the position of the leader as security and the loan is taken and written? From verse number 282. Question number 7. What are the benefits of writing down the conditions and having witnesses when a loan is taken? From verse number 282. Question number 8. If one cannot find a scribe while traveling, then what is the process of taking a loan? From verse number 283. Question number 9. Please explain what you understood from فَإِنْ أَمِنَ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا فَلْيُؤَدِّ الَّذِي تُمِنَ أَمَانَتَهُ وَلْيَتَّقِ اللَّهَ رَبَّهُ From verse number 283. Question number 10. Why is it said that whoever conceals a testimony, their hearts are indeed sinful? From verse number 283. Alhamdulillah, our lesson today is complete. Take care of yourselves. May Allah forgive whatever mistakes I have done here. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.